Welcome to an exciting episode of Urban Spice, the show that gives viewers the ultimate inside experience to delight in the most discerning, quality and stylish places, events and people Africa has to offer. On today's episode, we took a tour of the concept store Stranger Lagos, and then we joined beach lovers at the 2018 Afro Beach Rave, which was held at Landmark Towers in Oniru, Lagos. Stranger Lagos is a concept store inspired by the need to share the brand's curiosity and interest with a wider audience. The brand offers clothing, coffee, tea, accessories and co-working spaces for makers living in or passing through Lagos. Hi, my name is Yogo Okpo and welcome to Stranger. I'm one of the co-founders. Stranger is a store, a concept space. We do events, exhibitions, and all kinds of different things, to be honest. Um, today, I'm going to be taking Valerie through the space. So I hope you will enjoy the tour. And um, I hope to see you soon in the store. Hi, Yogo. Hi, how are you buddy. doing? Fine, fine. Thank you for agreeing to take me on this tour. No problem. But can I just say that this is a really, really amazing space. I like the variations of literally everything that is in this one oh, space. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, we just recently did a whole bunch of renovations. Okay. So it's going to look very different to people who've seen it before. Okay. But uh, yeah, I can definitely take you through it. Okay, so before we go on a tour, can you quickly tell me brief history, little brief history on Stranger. Why, why did you decide to name it Stranger? Um, stranger captured not only the fact that we were a stranger space mm -hmm. than what you would expect in, in Lagos, yeah. but also that it attracted people who felt like strangers in Lagos. You know, okay. if, you were, if you've been looking for something really cool and you haven't been so able to find it, mm -hmm. um, or something very different. Um, so not only are we working on our own in-house brand, finally, really? we're basically doing like clothes and stuff. Yes, exactly. Well, it's, it's very, very scary, so I don't know if the hell. You can ask me about this again in another six months, whether okay. or not I was crazy I definitely will. It. I definitely will, Please but I do. think it's a good idea. So we started out the Legal Space program. I've known the designer for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and we discussed this idea of what his own interpretation of everyday trousers would look like. Um, I love this. Uh -huh, so you see, but of course he had to add some kind of design yes, detail. Yes, um, I absolutely love it. the cut this. is really interesting. It's mm -hmm. super, super light linen. Yes. Um, it's really well made. Um, mm -hmm. I wish I could show you like all the internal construction yes, stuff. Yes, I can see the, uh -huh, the inner see, so detailing. Really, really nice, yes. small details, you know. So these are trousers that you're going to wear for yourself, right? Um, mm -hmm. Like a lot of, I guess, fashion that we tend to buy here, mm -hmm. which tends to be about projecting a certain kind of image. I so, get you. Um, this is like, just like your favorite pair of sweatpants or that shirt you stole from your boyfriend or something. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know? literally. So, so that is more for what how you feel when mm -hmm. you're wearing them. So that's kind of what we're doing with this. Okay. Um, so this is one of the styles. There are actually three styles. Um, the third style is already gone. this detail um, here. Like riding pants. Yes, exactly. Like, you know, exactly. So like uh, jodhpurs. So what we have now is um, linen again, but it's been um, fabric blocked with okay. artificial fabric. Okay. The synthetic fabric. So here we have like a nylon. And then here we have the linen. And then the detailing in the pockets. Exactly, and you can nice. see it's a different fabric as well. Mm -hmm. And the cut is different. This is a wider cut. This one has a taper. Um, this one has zippers. Zippers at the bottom. At the bottom, exactly. So okay. you can just, you know, you can loosen it. Literally. You can wear it with like slippers. You can wear it with sneakers or something. Okay. But it's just this idea that you can wear these pants in different ways. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take you down. At least I'll use this rack to kind of talk a little bit about one of our major focuses at the, in um, Stranger. Okay. So when we first started, we were carrying a mix of foreign brands and Nigerian brands as well. Mm -hmm. So we were stocking brands like Orange Culture, we were stocking brands like um, Kenneth Ize. Mm -hmm. This designer, Post Imperial, um, okay. the, the creative director, Ni, he's based mm -hmm. in New York, but he's in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, and what he does is he buys fabrics um, overseas or you know just usual fabric shopping and then he brings them down into Nigeria yes. where they are dyed using local Adira techniques. Okay. So what I really like about this brand is that it's taking a lot of um, older techniques. Mm -hmm. um, so something like the Adira for example. I love and even the frayed the frayed, you know, yeah. detailing. I'll show you some other stuff that he has as well yeah. um, that is down, just down. Um, 
where he this is his signature you know this fray that oh, is like it signature, is so right? lovely but he always uses like really really nice fabrics cottons and linens yes. you know, stuff that breathes really easily in our climate and the address oh. detailing is very cool it's very yes, distinctive it's as well so you nice. notice it immediately mm -hmm. right? in addition to clothing we also do so you can see we have more shorts and things okay. but we also do a whole bunch of different objects so these shoes we did in collaboration with the shoe brand I mentioned earlier, Shem Parallel. Yes. So these you can order from here, they're made to order. Uh, but we also carry books. So this is a fashion journal called Vestoy. Okay. It's run by a lady in the UK, but it's just the idea is to get people to sort of think a little bit more about the fashion that they consume or, or observe or are fans of, you know. Um, so unlike typical fashion magazines, there are mainly like a lot of pictures and advertising. Mm -hmm. What we have here is like a lot of text. A lot of okay. in-depth like interviews and essays talking about different brands and so on. So we had this um, artist called Yadi, mm -hmm. who's also doing pretty well right now. So we bought all these really cool books. They're books that are from my own personal library, my parents' libraries. Um, and then we got some secondhand books that had some, you know, either had really interesting topics okay. or cool covers. And then we had her make new covers for them. Okay. So we got canvas and then she just painted these sort of abstract things. Ooh. I really like her use of color. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to hide the original covers to encourage yes. people to sort of open the book you and like, okay, what so what, so what is this yes, book? Yes, you know? definitely. Ooh, J.P. Uh, Clark. Okay. Exactly. So <laughs> some of these things are properly like really old. Like this J.P. Yeah. Clark, um, for example, is from my mom's. You can see it's 10 Naira <laughs> at the time. Um, and it's from, you know, you can see Lagos University Press. I mean, it's, it's old, so, yeah, it's really old, it's but old. I like it, even the typesetting yes. is really interesting. <laughs> so it's things like this that I thought would be nice for people to be able to buy and then okay. you know, just sort of um, recontextualize the value of a book again. You know? So it's not just like this disposable thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so that's the idea. So this is one of the things that I'm really passionate about at Stranger, which is supporting okay. a lot of um, emerging brands and you know um, designers that are really working. These are things that were never really made for commercial you know, sales. Sale. But we also, st I mean, even if the opportunity does come for us to be able to sell like one or two, the point is not to have them as like, okay, we're only stocking these to sell them, mm -hmm. but it's even to showcase them as well. So these shirts, for oh, example, nice. are all like hand painted. Oh, so it that gives, is so nice. Exactly, you know, so it's like this really awesome like juxtaposition between like the natural and this sort yeah. of direct uh, hair. And then the hand the stitching and detail. And this, yeah, exactly. So that runs throughout the whole collection. Oh, you can see it's like, lovely. And there's some on the neck. Shirts. Yeah, it's so much really, really, really oh, intense it's detail. Lovely. And they're just awesome um, choices of color, like this really nice mm -hmm. blue mm -hmm. thread to be stitched this, on here. This one here. Yes, this one there, you know, even the trousers as well. Have this really like great um, detailing oh. on the side, and you now have this really awesome um, stitching again. Nice. So you know these, these are sorts of things that I believe that I like should hopefully be able to encourage. You no, know, not not to encourage, but inspire people. And over here we have our um, swap library. Okay. Well, some of our swap libraries. So can you tell me what your swap library is? So. A swap library is really just an excuse for me to be able to get a lot of really cool books. <laughs> and the idea is that if you want to read any of them, I mm. mean, you can always, you're always free to read in the store. Mm. But if you want to take one out home with you, then you need to bring a book. Okay. So it has to be a book that I can look at and be like, okay, you know what, this is cool. I haven't read this, so this would be nice. And you can drop it off and you can take <laughs> one of these books away. These are shoes, um, again, that were designed specifically for Stranger. Okay. So these are. And they're open toe. To yes, exactly. So they're open nice. toe. The idea is that the laces are supposed to go all the way, all the way up. up. And then he also did these really cool um, jewelry sets. All these are made from bone. What bone? Ah, so it's cow bone. <laughs> okay. So all, all of these ones are made from that. So we have one, two, three. Um, and what's really interesting about these is the fact that um, they are actually all pictures of Tupac. Okay. That have been transferred onto porcelain. Really? Why um, Tupac? Did you start. ask? Yes, of course. Ah, so we have to know all these things <laughs> in the collection. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting because the collection was partly inspired by hip hop. Okay. And in particular, that era of hip hop. Okay. So some of the proportions, like the really big shirts. Yes. You know, that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. that is where Tupac came that from. Stuff exactly. All right, fair enough. This bag is by Orange Culture, another okay. Nigerian designer. Yes. I mean, super interesting because it's very nice. People tend to pick it up a lot and just be okay. like, oh, okay, you know, so it's just this empty like pocket bag, so you can okay. take it on. He did a collaboration with, I don't know how to it's pronounce like, that, that oh, brand. Clark. 
he did a collaboration yes, with them? Yes, exactly. Oh, wow. So, you know, one of the things I like about Orange Culture is that like, he tends to do collaborations like every single season. Yeah. So, it's cool because you tend to get exposure from more than just one designer and a whole bunch of brands are now working together. Okay. Um, so, speaking of bags, there's another brand that we this carry a bit. Yeah, so this is... Um, her name is uh, Kumi, okay. and her brand's name is Minku. Okay. So these are some samples that she actually has been working on, like on oh, and off for wow. a while now. So she's going to even finish the lining. Mm -hmm. The possibilities are that you can even get any lining you want. If you want like more vintage Ashoke, okay. you want something else, you know. So it's pretty cool. Um, this is something we just received very recently. Okay. It's called the LM stool. Okay. It's very nice. It's made from machine steel. So it's actually pretty heavy. It doesn't look it. Oh, wow. Um, so you can see the shape is really, really, really cool. Different. That is really nice. Um, okay. to it as well. It's sort of triangular shape. Okay. Um, also made by a Nigerian product designer. Really? Um, so a furniture designer. He did this all here in Lagos as well. Completely. So the chair comes in like a, red. there's a red, you know, you can see the red. There's mm -hmm. a red, there's a black, there's a white. So our coffee is one of the things that we're really famous for. Okay. Um, it's partly because of the way, we, the way we actually make it, okay. which is using a vacuum siphon filter. Mm -hmm. um, this is a halogen lamp, which we actually is a more recent addition before we used to use a spirit burner. Okay. Um, and in times when there's no light, we still use the spirit burner. It's yeah, always so good to have a backup. Yeah. But yeah, so um, what I'm going to make for you instead is Nigerian coffee beans. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are not actually aware that Nigeria produces coffee. Like I wasn't. <laughs> exactly. <you> see, so <laughs> um, it's always a very nice kind of introduction to the thing. Okay. Um, and it's also one of our more popular coffees. It tends to sell out way quicker than any of the other ones we have. Um, which is pretty awesome. So, I'm going to put some water on the boil so it will take, make it a lot easier. Interesting. So, uh, vacuum siphon filters tend to look like, like insane science experiments. Yes. But they're very cool. Um, so, they operate using a, a bunch of pressure. The idea is that as you put water in here and the steam builds mm -hmm. up, it can't, it has nowhere to go once this is on here. Okay. And so pressure builds up and that's what pushes against the water and forces oh. it up to meet the coffee, which okay. is going to go in here. Um, let me show you how this is going to work. Do I need to put this on? Oh yes, if you can help me, please. I would gladly. So just turn it all the way. All the way? Yep. Oh wow. You want it okay. to be as hot as possible. Okay. So now the coffee is going to fall back down once the pressure equalizes. So it's always easier to take it away from the heat. Heat. So it cools off faster. Oop, let me actually move this out of the way. Yeah. Okay. So here's your coffee. Ooh. Nice. Okay. The whisk. Ooh. For frothing matcha. Oh, wow, that is really, really good coffee. Ah, you can, ah, that is okay, really, 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 really good coffee. It is so, I don't know, I don't know, for the lack of a better word, I'll say it's so original. Because okay, sure, like sure. you can taste like the flavors and like every single thing. Like no, no, you're not missing any taste in the coffee. Yeah, so yeah, this is really partly good. why we always get like single it's really, it's really beans good. And we, and we grind it here so that when you're really you're really enjoying the coffee. You know? We have a lot of plans for the rest of the year. In addition to the stuff I mentioned about our own brand and collaboration mm -hmm. with the designers, we want to be able to do a lot more in terms of film screens, in terms of uh, workshops and things of people to be able to work out of here okay. and learn things just by coming in. So you're pretty much much trying to tell me that Stranger is the full package, Indeed. more or less. Yes, <laughs> so this has been awesome. Thank I've you. had an amazing time on this tour. I think the highlight of the tour, to sound a bit selfish, is the coffee. <laughs> I can't wait for the cameras to cut and I go and sit down and enjoy this amazing cup of please coffee. Please do, please do. Thank you so much for taking us on this amazing Thank you very tour. Much, Valerie. So for all of you at home, you've seen it right here at Stranger Lagos. It's a workspace. It's an exhibition space. It's literally what you're looking for when you're looking for a strange place in Lagos. Until next time, my name is Valerie and this has been Urban Spice. If you've just tuned in, you've missed out on the tour of the concept store Stranger Lagos. 
Now let's move over to the 2018 Afro Beach Rave, which was held at Landmark Towers in Oniru, Lagos. The Afro Beach Rave is the biggest and longest ever beach rave to hit Nigeria. The rave, which was held at Landmark Towers or Niru Lagos, saw a unique offering of the party. As participants were divided into the four basic elements of earth, fire, air and water. Urban Spice was present at the Easter edition and this is what went down. Coca-Cola Beach Rave and right now I am with Swiss Extreme. On my right is Selfless and on my left is Skeleton. Now Twist Extreme is definitely the right name for you guys. How long have you guys been doing this for? Um, together as a duo, we've been doing this for like um, um, eight months. Okay. But individually, um, nine years and... Wait, you? Um, six years ago. So do you do a lot of yoga? Yeah, we do a lot of yoga. You do a lot of yoga? Yeah, like yoga is like the, um, contortion is the advanced form of yoga. So we are contortionists. Okay, so can you tell me, how are you able to nail that final move? The one where he holds your head and you like spin like your whole body, literally the entire direction. How are you able to do that? You know, I get to work on it, I stretch. I just think of the impossible and okay. you get to be there. Do you ever get afraid that when you're holding his head, like, do you just ever get afraid for any moment at all? Um, no, not at all. Okay, so you guys are definitely professionals. I like that. <laughs> okay, guys, we're still at the Coca-Cola Beach Rave and right now I'm speaking to Demilade. Demilade, are you having fun tonight? I am having quite some fun. I react while I lift up my spirit tonight. So, yeah, it's a, quite, it's a nice vibe here. The breeze from the ocean is... Swooping guys away. <laughs> so can you tell me what you thought about the twist, the extreme twist, twist extreme? How do you feel about those that duo? Um, um, I want to photograph them. I'm a photographer, by the way. So I'm, I'm going to look out for those guys. Those guys, those guys are something else. They're amazing guys. Yeah. <laughs> You go see say her life like drama, just to nothing. Thank God it's Friday, me and Jimmy just Bally, we got no more spending, no calorie. Many bodies, I'm so happy because I'm shaking it. 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 I'm shaking it
All right, guys, right now I'm speaking to Terry Akpala. And some people say he's the king of Fuji rap. I really love his sound. How are you doing this evening? I'm fine, I'm fine. I love, I love what you're putting on, man. Like, for real, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You look good yourself, too. You look good, you look good. Yeah, looking good is part of our business, so God bless you. Thanks, thank you for the compliment. So can you tell me about your performance this evening? I love your rendition of Shape of You and then everything else you did was really nice. Tell me about that. You can ask from anybody, anybody that knows Terak Palaver, they, they will tell you, killing, killing the show is my hobby, so this is part of me. Like, you know, and the fans are, my fans are always happy whenever they hear that name, like uh, Terak Palaver, whoa, that's the king of the new school, that's what they, they call me king of the new school, because my kind of vibe is far, far different from what others are doing. It's not as I'm, I'm not trying to praise myself here, but this is me for this is my brand, this is my kind of music, so they love that sound, they love Terak Palaver, so believe me, it's meant to be like this. Yeah, I'm feeling super cool, super excited, you know, to be with my fans, as usual. So can you tell me about this face tat? I'm really feeling it. Yeah, 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 this, this me, this is the African in me. This is, my sound is full of African vibes, indigenous swag, and um, my people know me, we don't fake. We give it to them straight, Africa, Ninja style, Wakanda Lamba. Huh? Are you having an awesome time here tonight? Yeah, sure, for real, man, I'm having a good time. It feels good though. So far so good. Whose performance have you enjoyed the most? So far so good. I'm going to say Conga because it's been long. So I love the energy, the vibe. 100. That's it for today's episode of Urban Spice. It's been so amazing bringing you all the interviews. I thoroughly enjoyed myself here at the Coca-Cola Beach Rave. Terry Apala, Twist Extreme, Conga, just to name a few, were super, super awesome to watch. Until next time, my name is Valerie. Keep watching Urban Spice. And that's all for this week's dose of Urban Spice. If you have a fabulous event that you think we should know about, then send us an email to info at myspice.tv.